I'm Gary Pieces, yes, I'm the founder of lovelocaljobs.com. Um, we're a local job board promoting local jobs but also working really hard to raise aspirations of local people to help them get into work as well. So my name's Tim Jarvis, um, I founded a company called See That um, and we're a, a full service video agency uh, based in Hove um, and we've been up and running since April 2010. What general skills would you say young people need to start their first job? You need to be on time. You need to turn up smart, you need to show a willing to be there. There's so many cases that I hear of these days where people are turning up, they don't really want to be there or they're really nervous. So part of the, the whole mindset before you even get there is to want to be there. And I know it's hard, particularly if it's a job that you don't want to do, uh, but a good willing, a good attitude, a willing to learn, um, dressed appropriately, uh, and just get ready to crack on. That, that for me is in simple terms what you need to start a job. What qualifications, skills and experience do you need to start up your own business? Um, you don't need any qualifications. I'm not saying that's the best route to go. Um, so I would say to someone starting up their own business to, um, to not be afraid of hard work. Uh, I think nobody gets through the first couple of years of business without rocking 12 hour days. Um, I would say get out there, talk to as many people as you can. You've got to network. I'd say don't be afraid to, to do free work. I mean, if you're offering a service, you need to get your name out there. So your name, your brand, your company out there, um, that, that's kind of the biggest thing I would say to people. So what would you say to someone thinking of setting up their own business? It's a very competitive market out there, regardless of what you do, and you're going to make lots of mistakes. So part of uh, being a good business owner is to pick yourself up day after day when things go wrong. To make sure that the product or service is, is right before you go about doing it. Um, brush up on those presentation skills because you have to convince a whole audience out there that your product or service is better than anyone else's. And if you can't convince them, they're not going to convince anyone else, so that's absolutely key. But most of all, just enjoy it. Go in head first, be completely determined and make it happen. Your enthusiasm as a business owner will, will make it work uh, more than anything else. Sometimes that's more important than the product itself. And where can you go to get help? I think for me, I, I sought a lot of advice in, in people that I knew. Um, so right at the start, Gary Peters, who I think you've interviewed today, I used to go and meet him on a probably a fortnightly basis, just for an hour, just to go and ask him questions about um, diff different scenarios that I'm encountering starting up a business. So he's been there, he's done it before. Um, and I would always, I'd, I'd go and ask him questions, like people want to help you, so if people have been there and done it, they've got the experience, and just go and tap into that knowledge. Uh, can you tell me about your first job? So I used to work as um, a marketing and media executive at um, Sussex County Cricket Club. So I absolutely love my cricket, so it was a perfect job for me. Um, but I think I learned a lot in that role, like it, a lot of marketing experience, um, working with national governing bodies, um, obviously working very closely with professional sports people and in a, in, a, um, in a job that I loved, like being at the cricket ground was just perfect for me. Um, so that was, that was my first and only real job um, before starting up See That. Um, but it was a great experience and I think it really it stood me in good stead to, uh, to start up See That. And is there any advice that you want to give? You, you would think that it's easy. You will think that you'll earn a lot of money. You'll think that um, your life will be easier. I say you, I thought that when I started mine. And I, I started mine by an, by an accident. It was somebody who gave me a break many years ago, gave me the tools and confidence in order to go and set up. But all of those things are not true. You will waste a lot of money. You'll get it wrong. You won't listen to people. Um, you'll lose a lot of sleep but if you go into it 100% committed and full of passion, genuine passion for your products it is undoubtedly regardless of all of those bad things the best thing you'll ever do so I'd say go for it.